Jim, last week at the free at a free webinar, someone posted a question, but I didn't get to ask it then, so I'm going to ask it now. This person wanted to know what is physical illness. Well, it's not only what is it; how does it happen? How does physical illness come about? So, there's a, a progression of illness how it comes about. So you're you're naturally healthy as a little kid; you grow up. But one of the things that happens is it starts not in the physical body. It starts in how you think. It starts in how you hold emotions. So let's say you're walking down the street and you're in a great space, a healthy person. I'm in my spiritual space, we'll call it. It's I'm happy, I'm focused, things are working. Motion is fluid in my body comfortably. Mm -hmm. And somebody says to me, you have a funny nose. And what happens is I get knocked out of that space. My first thing that happens, it's an insult of some nature. And I have a thought that doesn't, that doesn't, that's not right. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong with this. It immediately then drops from the mental body into the emotional body. And you say, this isn't good. And a feeling comes along with that. This isn't good. And then what happens is you start thinking about it. And uh, this isn't good. Why did they say that? Am I, are they going to like me? Am I going to be accepted? And we start to wind this whole set of thoughts. But how it works is thoughts are electrical and emotions are magnetic. And so you have this thought, this isn't good. And then you immediately have this feeling. And it's as if you create this electromagnetic field. You start wrapping the wire, if you would. This isn't good, this is good, why did they say that? And the more you start to build that tightness, that magnetic, electromagnetic tightness, the more the body goes into a tension. Uh, I'm afraid, this isn't good, what does it mean? Am, am I going to succeed? Are they going to like me? And you start winding that. But if you think about the body, when it's in that spiritual balance, it's in a flow, it's, it's balanced, it's comfortable, everything's working. No resistance. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you go into, uh-oh, something's wrong, the body starts to tighten up and there becomes a resistance and then there becomes a, a restriction and then there becomes an irritation and then an inflammation and then things start to get out of mm -hmm. balance. And so if you hold, I'm not okay long enough, they're, they never like me. I did it wrong. That becomes this irritation in the body and that electromagnetic field starts to pull things out of balance. Yeah. And that tension is something where the muscles don't work, the fluidness of the body doesn't work. And eventually things drop from that spiritual, I'm happy, everything's wonderful, to uh-oh, well, this doesn't feel good and I'm never going to be capable, I'm never going to be successful, I'm never going to be liked. We all do that, but it's that tension in the body around I'm not okay, that when it really drops into the body, it becomes a state of dis-ease. Dis but when it's in a mental emotional space, it's a state of dis, big hyphen, ease. I'm off balance, I'm unsure. When it drops into the physical, the hyphen goes away and it becomes diseased, which is simply an out of balance. Can this, can, can this be an unconscious process? Oh, absolutely. Think about how many times in your life you've just unconsciously had this thought, I'm not okay, they don't like me, I'm not going to fit in, I'm not doing this right, I don't think they're going to accept this. You, unconsciously, mm -hmm. you sit and you have this uncomfortable, off-balance feeling. And it, and it can come from the past. So, say, high school, college, beat up, being beat up, bullied. Four years old. All of that dense, I'm not okay energy. And then you clean it out or you, you move on and you, it's not a conscious thing anymore. So then the person gets to be 50 and they get cancer. So is that related to this? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. See, we had a session once before about fear and basically that fear is an off balance and this internal guidance system really is saying, it's not screaming run, 
It's simply saying, be aware. And when you amplify it into run, oh my God, the end of the world is coming, that's an awful lot of stress in the body. And so, but what we do is we have the event. They told me they didn't like me. I was not going to succeed. I got a bad grade on a test and everybody laughed at me. Mm -hmm. There it is. And that's really uncomfortable to hang on to for a length of time, but there it is. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we go into denial and we kind of store it away over here and we're not going to look at this. It didn't go away. It's sitting in that hot tension electromagnetic space that says this is out of balance. Something's wrong. You can be 50 years old, but finally that tension mm -hmm. cr cracks, it breaks. So the key so is even if a person, even if I don't know what this tension is in my rational mind, to use the tools, do the work, to clear out any stuck energy, whether I know what it is or not, so that that stuck energy doesn't bite me in the butt when I'm 50. Exactly, yeah. exactly. See, at a really <clears throat> fundamental level, this is hard for people even to comprehend, let alone understand, you can't be not okay. At a fundamental level, you are absolutely fine. People then start arguing, yes, but, yes, but, yes, but. Well, the yes, but is, what they're really saying is, you don't understand, I was embarrassed when I was seven years old, and I've never gotten mm -hmm. over that. And so I'm not okay. They're arguing for this position of being not okay. When you start to play in Mastering Alchemy and the tools, and you begin to recognize, you can't be not okay, I'm fine, and I have stuff going on in my life. When you can begin to distinguish between you and your stuff, then you begin to start to recognize, oh, I was embarrassed at seven years old, but I'm not seven years old anymore. And when I look back at that, kids do those things, mm -hmm. and I'm okay. And you start to realize, oh, I don't have to carry this anymore. And that loosens up all the resistance, and then you get well-being again. Yeah, you see, in the space of I'm okay, everything automatically mm -hmm. comes into an alignment. But when you hold that, I'm not okay, they told me I wasn't mm -hmm. okay. See, the other part of that, you can never solve that. You're not okay. You're not smart. Well, that's just somebody else's opinion, and then we hold on to it, and we start asking ourselves the same question. What did I do wrong? What's mm -hmm. wrong with me? Why didn't they like me? The interesting part of that is you never get an answer, yeah. because it was never your problem. You're fine. But that's where this in disease and off-balanceness in illness in the body yeah. really comes from. It's a very interesting process, mm -hmm. but for the most part, people are looking externally yep. for how do I fix this problem that was an external problem in the first place. Right.